Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a tool that I use every day as an interior designer, and that is Canva. Now you might hear a little bit of noise in the background. I just got a new kitten, so she's running around here somewhere. But if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, be sure to do that. Okay, let's jump into this video. Now, if you're already a designer or you're thinking about becoming one, you might be wondering what graphic design tool will you use? Now, you probably have heard of SketchUp. That is a 3D modeling tool and it is a fabulous software to use. However, I do not use that tool every day. SketchUp is most useful for large projects and design, but what I typically spend most of my day doing is making mood boards. So what is a mood board? A mood board is a collage of images that I have put together so that I can convey my design ideas to my client. Here is an example of a mood board. You can see I've included the flooring, furniture, art, and lighting, and overall is a great representation of what the space will look like. Once my client has seen the mood board and approved the design, then we can move forward. So while Canva is a design tool, it is a sales tool. You have got to get your vision across to your client because if they don't really understand what you're doing and like what you're doing, they're not gonna move forward. I use Canva almost every day. I first select a custom size template and I usually go with an 800 by 600 and the reason I go for that size is it fits into an email really well but you can find what works best for you then once you've collected all the factors of your mood board like paint colors textiles furniture art and lighting you're ready to assemble it onto your mood board you'll upload your images here and they save to Canva so you don't have to worry about losing them later on I typically add bottom layers first like paint or rugs. I do this by selecting my images over here and simply adding them to the template. Now be prepared to spend some time moving your images around to best present the overall design to your client. There is balance involved in making a mood board. Hey guys, I wanted to take a quick break and talk to those of you who are watching this video because you love interior design. If you don't already know, because you're new to this channel, I have been an interior designer for over 25 years. I have designed for over 100 clients, I have six awards, and I have three designers who work under me. And I did it all without a degree. I have written an online interior design course for those that have a passion for design, but they lack the confidence and the knowledge in starting their own design business. My online course teaches both the design principles and the business strategies you need to be successful like me. Are you interested in being a designer, but you wanna avoid years of schooling and debt? Then my online course is for you. I'll leave a link to the course website in the description of this video so you can learn more about it. All right, back to the video. I recommend studying mood boards that are on Pinterest. Take a look at how they arrange their layers and the factors of design they're highlighting. You can learn a lot by studying other mood boards. One great tool on Canva is the background remover. So when you're ready to add your larger pieces, you can remove the background and properly layer them. Now you can also use background remover to layer images in the exact way they will be decorated. For instance, you may set a lamp on top of a table to show how those two items will go together. I find this to be one of the best selling points of Canva as it really allows you to be creative. Then, once you've finished arranging your mood board, you'll want to name it here at the top. Canva will save it for you on your account, but by naming it, you're ensuring that you can search for it later on. Now I'm always going to save mine as a JPEG so I can easily attach it to emails to my clients. One thing I recommend when you're sending mood boards to your client is to explain why you made the choices that you did. For instance, I chose this rug because it pairs well with the drapes or it pairs well with an accent chair you have. 
I chose this coffee table because the wood looks perfect with the wood mantle in the room. Show your client that you have made intentional choices and you will better sell them on your design. If you want to learn more about Canva, they have tutorials on their website and I highly recommend checking them all out. Canva is truly a great tool for designers. Now, if you're interested in learning more about my interior design course, I'll put a link in the description of this video and it'll take you right to my website. Well, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day.